Hi guys. I don't think there's a proper way to intro this onto my channel. There just isn't. <laughs> Fuck, I didn't make it to the intro. <laughs> if you've watched my channel throughout the years, um, you're familiar with Babs. They say you fall in love three times, and he was my first. Some of you guys might have even found my channel through the videos that Babs and I did together. Um, we parted ways in 2015 after almost five years together when we just realized that we weren't on the same path. Baz was the goofiest, <laughs> kindest, most positive, brightest soul and kid I've ever met. Someone who didn't have a lot, but wouldn't hesitate to give anything and everything that he owned if it would help someone else. And an adrenaline junkie, oh my god. Even though um, Baz had really severe epilepsy, he would not hesitate to throw himself off of a skateboard ramp or a snowboard ramp or out of a plane with a parachute on his back or off of a bungee jumping bridge. A lot of which happened after we parted ways because he needed that in his life to be happy. And we both knew that. I knew that. He knew that. He needed that lifestyle. We spent the last year of our relationship just as basically best friends. And I have no regrets. I was so focused on my career and he needed to go on solo canoe trips. He needed to go hiking. He needed to go camping in remote areas, do all the dangerous shit that would give me like near heart attacks when he would do it when we were together and used to drive me crazy. And to say that he lived his life to the fullest is an understatement. I've just never met someone with such infectious energy and an infectious smile. And everyone who's ever met him, well, second, third, fourth, that forever. His dad, who was his absolute hero, um, passed away in a tragic motorcycle accident about two years ago and we reconnected. We were able to truly become amicable friends um, after some time had passed and we truly wanted the best for the other and rooted for the other's success and you know just checking in to make sure things were okay health-wise. If you've seen my anxiety video you can piece together um, that Baz was the loved one in my life who suffered a super severe seizure um, near the beginning of our relationship and we had just endured so much together. We talked probably for the last couple years, every month or so, just checking in. And I had heard from him just two weeks ago and he was telling me how he was volunteering at our hometown's hospital um, with COVID patient intake. Just, that's so bad. <laughs> like someone who has so many of their own health issues to worry about but is spending time with COVID help and Late on the night of May 27th, he was up at his cottage, which is his favorite place in the entire, entire world. And he was doing a typical Baz midnight swim and had a seizure and drowned. I'm devastated alongside all of his friends and family, the people who have always been there for him when there was trauma in his family and he needed some place to go. When we all came together to help rebuild what the trauma of the first seizure had created, it's just a bond between people and a group of people that is just unmatched. I know Baz knew how loved he was by every single person who had ever come into his life. He was dealt a tough hand of cards and he had his demons. But you, you couldn't picture a happier, more positive, more selfless person than Sebastian Morris. And I want to make something super clear or else Baz will come back and like haunt me or something. But he did not let epilepsy ruin his life. He showed me and everyone that he was an unstoppable force whether he was going to have a seizure or not. And I feel like it almost propelled him to live every day to the fullest because epilepsy was something that was out of his control. Before his dad passed away, Baz and I got to go down to Florida to visit him and they got to skydive together. And I know. I know that was one of the highlights of his entire life. Being able to do something adrenaline junky and off the bucket list with his hero, his dad. And he just taught me so much, so, so, so much. I started my channel and everything that this platform has become um, when we were together and he was just my number one fan, my number one supporter, helping me film, learning how to film, always wanting me to just push to be the best that this could be. He took me to prom. He was there with my family when I graduated high school. With my parents, he helped move me up to college. He was by my side through family funerals and family celebrations. And overall, just showed me what true, real, 
raw compassion and selflessness looks like. He had so little but so much to give and I will take that with me every single day. There's so much more that I could say about him but if you knew him for even an hour, you know the light that he brought with him everywhere he went. The selfless energy that he possessed and just the best intentions for everyone no matter how it might impact him. But he can rest now. No more seizures. No more medications. No more brain trials <laughs> at the seizure clinic. And most importantly, he'll be reunited with his hero, his dad. I need some time offline. <sighs> Nothing like this has ever happened to me and I, I'm, I don't know how to process it. And I know that Baz wouldn't want me to miss a single day of life. So stubbornly selfless. But I just wanted to share this so that uh, for those of you who knew him, you could say your goodbyes. And for friends and family who I'm not able to be with right now because of COVID and the travel restrictions that I wish I was with you and we were together. And hopefully this can inspire someone to never take what they have and what their life is for granted. I just want to thank you guys for your time and for your support and all of your love. Um, I'll be back soon. Okay.